now we are going to study about providing examples or evidence. When you are writing a report, an essay, or a research paper as a class assignment, you first, you first need to be clear about what you wish to convey. You need to decide on the stance you would like to take on the basis of your research. Then once you arrive at a point of view, you need to be able to support your position with evidence. For this, you need to be. So what is this providing examples or evidence? If you are asked to write a report or essay or a research paper or a class assignment, and you, what is the thing first you need to do? You need to, uh, first you need to think what you have to decide, what you have to decide, what you have to take, on what, uh, on what basis you need to write the research paper, you need to write your assignment. These things you should first decide and then start writing it. So then once you arrive at a point of view, you need to be able to support your position with evidences for this you need to be. So if you are asked to write an assignment or research paper or whatever it is, you first you have to decide on what basis you are going to write this. Once you have come with a conclusion that you need to write on this basis, on this research, then you should be in a position to provide, whatever you write, you should be in a position to provide evidences. Evidences means a proofs for whatever you are going to write. So let us see what are those. First thing, find the right kind of evidence. Second, try to determine from the context of the reading, class assignment, whether any specific sources which gives you a better understanding of evidences required. Next, use evidences effectively. Next, have an appropriate amount of evidence. So when you are writing uh, uh, any, if you are asked to write a class assignment uh, or uh, any research paper or any article or any report or any essay, so what is what should be in your mind means you should be very careful of writing uh, what, on what basis you need to write that. What is your uh, theme on what basis you are writing? Once you have come with a decision of selecting the theme, then you should see what are the points you need to cover. You need to put proper right kind of evidences when you are writing. You need to determine what from what you are reading and what you have taken from what sources you are mentioning and your evidences should be effectively used and appropriate amount of evidences should be used to make your writing part uh, authentic means a truth. So um, here they have given one passage for us regarding the usage of uh, providing proper evidences. Let us see that. The following article tries to show a relation between social media usage and eating um, disorders. Read the article, uh, apart, read, read the article and find evidence on the internet to prove or disprove the views stated here. So what is that we are going to see? Um, now, when you are describing or when you are uh, writing anything, uh, you should make sure that uh, um, here they have given ma, eating disorders or mental disorders that involve abnormal eating habits, which affect a person's health. Apart from physical health, eating disorder, disorders also impact emotions and the person's ability to function normally in everyday life. The, the article talks of a link between such disorders and social media usage. This is about task 24. Now this is the article all about. According to a new study by the School of Medicine of the University of Pittsburgh, spending hours every day on social media sites leads to body image issues and a higher risk of eating disorders. While traditional media like television and glossy magazines are known to cause body image issues, by uh, uh, by promoting a thin models uh, uh, by promoting a thin models as attractive social uh, social media seems to have an even more powerful impact this may be due to the fact that it enables users to interact with each other 1765 adults in the age group 19 to 35 were given questionnaires to assess the relationship between social media usage and eating disorders 
It was found that regular users of social media were 22 times more likely to experience eating disorders like bulimia, binge eating, anorexia, and body image issues. They were more likely to be critical of the shape and size of their body and consider themselves obese when they were not so. It is commonly known that on social media, users share images of themselves that are more flattering and rather than realistic and accurate depictions of themselves. This creates an illusion that the average weight is far less than what it really is. In an effort to battle social media field eating disorders, Instagram banned the hashtags Thinspiration and Thinspiro, but users easily circ circumvented uh, these barriers by spelling the words slightly differently. YouTube videos about uh, anorexia that could uh, be classified as pro-anorexia received more views and positive ratings than informative videos highlighting the negative consequences of the eating disorders. So when you write an essay, you should make sure that you need to prove pro proper evidences in writing that. So what are the, now they have given proper evidences, what are the YouTube things, what are the things, so useful guidelines they're giving to write this sort of uh, clues of evidences. First, shortlist the different social media websites that you will search for similar articles and select the keywords that you can use, compile a list of all the relevant articles, sort the articles, post based on their uh, uh, conclusions or findings uh, based on your research, you may choose to support or oppose the findings stated in the above. So like this, uh, you need to, when you, now you are given this task 24 and you are asked to write. So you should write with the necessary proofs and evidences. So you can write like this, according to national eating disorders, uh, as many as 65% of uh, people with eating disorders say cyberbullying contributed to the, uh, like this, National Institute of Mental Health says that 3% of US adolescents have difficulty on doing this disorders. Like this, when you write, when you read an article, this is not with evidences. So you, you have to provide proper evidences in writing an essay. So when you are asked to write any essay, any report, anything, either in your examination or in your professional life, you need to write with proofs. If you simply give statements that will not be meaningful. You need to provide proofs, evidences for any writing what you have studied. So in this third unit, we have studied third unit title, Blue Jeans. We have studied lesson blue jeans, manufacturing of blue jeans. What is the history of blue jeans? What is the history of blue jeans? And uh, who has invented this blue jeans? What are the different stages it has undergone? And, and we also studied what is vocabulary part, prefixes and suffixes from foreign languages, words from foreign languages. And we have studied grammar, like misplaced modifiers, tenses. And under reading, we have studied skimming and scanning. Skimming is done for a lot of information. When you have a lot of information to do, you take part in skimming. And scanning is done when you have enough when, when you want to search for specific information and writing under writing we have studied nature of and style of sensible writing defining describing object places events and we have studied what is classifying what is providing examples and evidences this is all about unit 3 blue genes which we have studied